So you wanna know what the best ceiling paint is? I'll give you a hint. It's this one. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting, and in this video, I'm talking about ceiling paint. And I actually don't like ceiling paint because most of it's hot garbage. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of ceiling paints, particularly the ones that are marketed and labeled as paint for your ceiling, aren't very well made. They're not good products. They're too thin, they don't cover well, the sheen's weird, uh, it shows lap marks and a lot of times it splatters everywhere and I have a lot of gripes with traditional ceiling paints. Um, so I'm gonna go over the four things that I'm looking for in a good ceiling paint and then I'll show you guys the product that we use now. Uh, number one, I want a thick ceiling paint. Uh, if it's too runny, what happens when you start cutting in the ceiling is that the paint will start running down uh, the bristles into the heel of the brush. Uh, which is impossible to avoid completely because you are holding your brush vertically. But if the paint's really thin, it's gonna do that really quickly and get all over this metal part of the brush. It's gonna get on your hands and that's really annoying. Uh, so if it's nice and thick, it's easier to work with. And in general, like you, you can just keep your brush a lot cleaner and it's uh, a better time. Number two is coverage. A good ceiling paint should cover just about any ceiling that is previously painted white uh, in two coats. Now, if you're going over a new drywall, you should be doing a coat of primer and then two top coats, and then that should do you. So a lot of these thinner ceiling paints, it just takes coat after coat. It doesn't seem to ever cover, which I find super annoying. Third is splatter. I don't like being absolutely covered in paint. There's no way to avoid a little bit of splatter because as you roll, the, the roller is spinning and you're going over top yourself. Um, and like above you so any little flecks that zip off the roller are gonna hit the ground and you and all that good stuff Which is again why you should be uh, tarping off the rooms that you're you know rolling There's no paint that's not gonna fleck uh, when you roll it But just some of the amount of splatter that I've seen in some of these ceiling paints is ungodly uh, so yeah uh, I just want a reasonable amount nothing too crazy number four is the sheen I'm looking for a dead flat ceiling paint uh, that's the finish that most people like in their homes. What's nice about a true dead flat ceiling paint is that it absorbs light, it hides any imperfections in the ceilings, or a lot of them, and uh, it's just a nice soft finish. Also, I do like being able to use a ceiling paint as a primer in a pinch, and when it's an actual flat ceiling paint, it allows you to do that. So if you have some uh, you know, spackle spots in the ceiling that you've sanded, a lot of times you can just run a quick uh, coat of the ceiling paint on there and then run your top coats after that and it, seal it seals it in just fine. And you won't get any flashing because it is a flat paint. Uh, also, it blends in nicely with itself so you don't see any of the lap marks, which is the overlapping, um, you know, roller. Like as you, as you roll, you're gonna overlap your roller so that you're getting the coverage that you need and a good flat paint won't uh, show where that roller is overlapping as long as you've done a reasonable job spreading it evenly. The ceiling paint that we switched to, this came out a couple years ago and it is kind of a modified version of the wall paint that we used to use. And this is product is from Sherwin Williams. This isn't sponsored content, uh, but uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. I just really like it. It works really well. And I've used almost all the other brands, and this is what we have settled on. I would say we use this on 99% of the jobs that we do. And this is Promar ceiling paint. Uh, it should run you a lot. To, like Sherwin Williams always has sales, so this should run you in like the mid 20s ish a gallon. Um, you know, if you get a good sale, you might be able to get it for less than that. Uh, but yeah, real solid performing ceiling paint. I really like it. And uh, if you're curious as far as like where you would put this, it would be any room in your house uh, that is not a bathroom with a water element. So if you're, you know, painting a bathroom that's got a shower in it or a bathtub, anything that's going to generate a lot of steam, you're going to want to use a specialty paint that's got moisture and mold block in it, like Benjamin Moore Bath and Spa or Duration Matte from Sherwin-Williams. Um, so just throwing that out there, but any other room, family room, bedrooms, foyers, all that good stuff. This is what we use. People really like it. I really like it. 
And uh, as far as application goes, I'd recommend using uh, just a good brush. This is a Corona Cortez two and a half inch sash. Sash just means it's got this angle to it. Uh, that's what I like using. And then for rolling, we use a 3 8 inch uh, nap white dove roller from Purdy. And the package looks like that. And you can get them in three packs. And I will link to the brush and the roller in the description. That's, that's kind of what we use. That's what I recommend to all my friends, clients, everybody uh, that is doing some work on their ceilings. It works super good. So two thumbs up and it's the first ceiling paint I've actually enjoyed using. So I think you might enjoy it as well. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. If you guys found this helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. That would help with all of the YouTube type stuff and I would appreciate it. So till next time, y'all take it easy, work smart and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.